Hey, Richard Knudsen here again. And this is the first in a series of sessions that I'll be doing on the Dynamic CRM 4 client for Microsoft Outlook. Now, in addition to having a very long product name, this tool, which I'll refer to hereafter as the Outlook client for sure, it's a great product. It's actually an add-in you run on top of an existing installation of Outlook. And in my opinion, if your organization uses both Outlook and Dynamic CRM, you really should be taking advantage of the Outlook client. Now, you can think of it as simply exposing dynamic CRM information through the familiar Outlook interface. But if you think of it like that, I think it's easy to miss out on its potential to really dramatically increase the productivity of your sales, marketing, and service teams. In sessions like these, it's easy to focus on product features and step-by-step how-to demos. But with a tool like, like the Outlook client, it's at least as important to emphasize the why-to. So my goal for these sessions isn't just to show you how a particular feature works. I also want to show you how something should be done, suggest so a set of best practices you can adapt to your organizational requirements. Now there are lots of specific ways people in organizations can benefit from using the Outlook client, but in my view the common thread is that they all build organizational value on the foundation of individual productivity. So to make this point clear, let me contrast the design goals of the two products, starting with Outlook. Outlook is essentially designed as a personal productivity application. And for its core feature set, email, schedule and task management, personal contact management, it succeeds and it's pretty tough to beat Outlook at those tasks. And mainly because it is such a productive tool for these everyday tasks, you'll hear people say things like they live in Outlook and they can really accumulate a rich store of information about their contacts and various activities. And while you can do things like share out contacts and other Outlook folders, it's fair to say that a lot of most of the accumulated Outlook data are really in the category of islands of information. Difficult to find for people who might need it and hard for organizations to extract value from. Dynamic CRM, on the other hand, is really at the other end of the spectrum. As a customer relationship management system, it's designed from the ground up as a central repository of customer information. For example, a reasonable goal for a dynamic CRM implementation is to have a complete history of activities, such as emails, appointments, phone calls, sales opportunities, invoices, stored for every customer record and easily findable to anybody in the organization with the requirement to see it. On the other hand, like most CRMs, dynamic CRM is not designed for personal productivity. So, for example, while you could perform all your email and task management functions by using the Dynamic CRM web client, it's nowhere near as good as Outlook at those things. So basically, Outlook is great for things Dynamic CRM is not, and vice versa. The Outlook client for Dynamic CRM then builds on the individual productivity platform provided by Outlook, and by exposing CRM, through the familiar Outlook experience, it gives organizations the ability to benefit from all of that valuable customer information that might otherwise be locked up in Outlook. Now, in other sessions, I'll provide more detailed treatment of how Dynamic CRM is exposed through the Outlook client and how you can use it to build organizational value. But in the demonstration I'll show next, I want to show one very simple example, sending an email to a client and contrast how that might look both with and without the Outlook client. So for the demonstration, I'm going to send an email to a customer that I want to be tracked as an activity in Dynamic CRM. Now Dynamic CRM is a server-based application and its native client application is a web browser, Internet Explorer in particular. Here you can see that I've navigated to my CRM site, which is Dynamic CRM Online, by the way, this is my company's production CRM, and I can navigate to a CRM contact record by clicking Sales on the sitemap, then clicking on Contacts. Then I'll search for a contact record. In this case, I'll use a personal record that I maintain for testing and demo purposes. And when I double click on that record to open the form for the contact, it's simple enough to send an email by clicking the Send Email button on the toolbar you see here. Now the form that pops up here will allow me to send an email certainly, but you wouldn't be likely to choose this over the Outlook experience for sending an email. Certainly the editor is pretty bare bones, and a lot of the editing features you might be used to from Outlook simply aren't gonna be here. 
but I can enter some text for the subject line, and I'll build out the body of the message, finish that off with some text I have on the clipboard, thanking this contact for recently purchasing my workflow book. And when I'm ready to send this email, I simply click send, and off she goes. Now, the most important point to make here is that when I'm done with this, this does become a history activity attached to this contact record. It's stored in the central SQL Server database. That's the foundation of Dynamics CRM. And it's visible to anybody who has permissions to see this as part of the contact's activity history. You can see that here. So here it is. An email is just one of the kind of kinds of activities that you can track in this way. I'll close out this record and show you the others, which you can see by going to the new activity menu, you can pull down from the Dynamic Serum Global Toolbar, you see here. So as you see, email is one of eight kinds of activity, including tasks, appointments, phone calls, that I can track and store in my central repository. Really, the, as I mentioned, the underlying design goal of uh, Dynamic CRM is to make that available to everybody in the organization that needs to see it. But now, suppose I'm an Outlook user. If I am, and if I have the Outlook client installed, there's a much better way to achieve the same result. So let's see how this works in the familiar Outlook experience. I switch to Outlook. And one of the ways you can tell I've got the Outlook client for CRM installed, by the way, is by viewing the CRM toolbar here, which incidentally gives you access to the same CRM functionality as the global toolbar on the web client I just showed you. For instance, here's the new activity pull-down menu. But now, let's simply send an email the Outlook way. number of ways to do it, certainly one of them. Click on the Mail folder here. Click New. And once I'm creating a new mail, it's the Outlook experience. I can identify the person it's going to. There's the same record. Outlook resolves that email address. Enter something on the subject line. Enter the text. I'll use, I'll use the Outlook Quick Parts functionality to build out the body of this email. Give it a nice salutation. And I'm ready to send. But here's the CRM part. Since I've got the Outlook CRM client installed, I can simply click Track in CRM here on the toolbar. And if I do that, the activity will be available as one of those activity history records I just showed in CRM. But we can do better than that. In this case, since I want this to be associated with the customer record, I'll click this Set Regarding button, select the CRM contact record I wanted to attach to first, and then click Send. Now I've got that record here. If I didn't have it up here, I could go do a lookup in Dynamic CRM. Now this is a Dynamic CRM contact lookup dialog here. Look that record up. Sure enough, there it is. Now, if I send this, a couple of interesting things happen. First off, you'll see it appears in my sent mail folder, just as it normally would. You can see from the icon that's attached to it that this is a tracked item in Dynamic CRM. That's what this double-headed icon indicates for us. I can open up the email. Here's the sent email. And now that it's associated, this history item is associated with this contact record, I can click this View Regarding button. will pop open the Dynamic CRM form for the contact record. And now, just to verify that the activity history is tracked exactly the same way, click on History. And there's that Thanks for Your Purchase email that just went out. So I just showed you two different ways, the same end result. But as I said at the start of this session, if your organization uses Outlook, most of your users will find it much easier to send emails from Outlook the normal way. I've just done it here, rather than going through the extra steps of navigating to CRM and using the CRM web client to send those emails. So I'll close out with what will be another common thread of these sessions on the CRM Outlook client. The easier it is to do something, the more likely people are to do it. Now I'll show you plenty of examples of this in lots of other contexts. But remember, the ultimate result is to turn individual productivity into organizational value. I hope you found this interesting, and if you did, you'll find links to these sessions and lots of other related content on my blog, The Dynamic CRM Trick Bag. And with that, Richard Knudsen, signing off.